Hi, yes, hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley. And if you're a returner, welcome back. So Ashley, what are we watching? If you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, I am watching the film Terms of Endearment. And at the time of filming, there is literally no other Terms of Endearment reaction on YouTube that I can find. So that's exciting. I've been told this movie's gonna make me cry a whole bunch. That's why I didn't wear makeup today. But lucky for you, I feel like I've been emotionally constipated recently. So I think I'm in the need and in the mood for a big cry today. So I don't know what this movie's about. I don't know who's in it. I don't know why everybody wants me to watch it so bad. Unless it's just one of those movies that's gonna make me cry real big and you want me to cry real big. You know, if it was a huge movie, why, why are there no reactions to it, you know? So I hope, I hope it's a good movie. Yeah, I don't know anything about this movie. So no more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's millennial movie upload. <laughs> Which is the film Terms of Endearment starring no one I know in this moment. just for a minute. Honey, you've been looking at that baby so much, you're gonna stare her right into a coma. <laughs> New parents? Rudyard, she's not breathing. What? Rudyard, it's crib death. Go check it. Maybe. Come on. You're gonna get in the crib? <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> yeah. See, look what you did. The baby was sleeping, and now you done piss it off. Shirley MacLaine? I don't think I know that person. Oh, Jack Nicholson! I do know Jack Nicholson. Big fan of Jack Nicholson. Danny DeVito! Big fan of Danny DeVito as well. John Lithgow! Oh, big excited. Big excited about this. <laughs> Is a lot of fun so far. There's just this intro music, not a lot of dialogue has happened, obviously. She's just asleep. She's just asleep. Would you like to sleep in my bed? No, thank you. <laughs> Damn. Would you like to sleep in my bed again? Yes. <laughs> Aww, stop it. That's cute. James L. Brooks. Is he related to Mel Brooks? Hey, Emma. Oh, cute retainer, girl. You're not sitting very ladylike. Where's Mama? Well, she's out back with that old fart who's trying to get into her pants. Hey, are <laughs> Sure would be nice to have a mother somebody like. Emma sounds familiar. The voice sounds familiar. You ain't getting lucky, baby. Why don't you face up to the fact that you have certain biological needs? <laughs> because I don't. Mom, I'm going now. Okay, you girl. Can you believe it? He wants to take me to Tahiti. <laughs> he wants to get your pants in Tahiti. Home by 11 o'clock and no later than 11 Say goodbye to Patsy. Goodbye, Patsy. Thank you. Are y'all smoking weed? When they landed on Plymouth Rock. What song is this? Instead of landing on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock. Oh yeah, that's for real weed. Also, this is giving me vibes from Grease Sandra D. You know. This is not Bear Martin. I'm, this is Ethel Merman. Whoever those people are. So is her mom just a bitter lady? I mean, we're gonna be best friends. Our babies are gonna be best friends. Forever? Emma? Oh, God. Oh, Lord, y'all smoking a doobie and your mama's coming in. Yes? Oh, uh, just a minute, Mom. What does that think she just opened? What does that think she just opened? No, she only knows how to avoid it. <laughs> I don't just be kissing my friends like that. What have you been doing, Emma? 
not smoking weed in my room. I really would like to get some sleep, you know, so I could look halfway decent for tomorrow. Of course, yeah. You wouldn't want me to be silent about something that's for your own good, even if it might hurt a little, would you? Oh, I can't wait for this one, y'all. <laughs> She came back. It's funny. It's a joke, Mama. Laugh. That's how I'm sitting, too! Okay, so it's like a girl thing. Come on, now. I've been in here all night. Uh-huh. Doing what? I thought of that Renoir that my mother gave me. It's a something, ain't it? I need dishes of any kind, corningware, rotisserie. Mm. Car, a house. <laughs> if you marry Flap Horton tomorrow, it will be a mistake of such gigantic proportions. It will wow, that is very dramatic in a lot of words. You are not special enough to overcome a bad marriage. Damn. Even at this age, all he wants is a secure teaching job. Mother. What does that matter? And I think if this is your attitude, you shouldn't bother showing up at my wedding. Oh, oh no, that's a big thing. No, I think you're right. The, the hypocrisy was bothering me, too. Oh, 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 oh! My own mother's not coming to my wedding. What is this about, girl? Are you, are, is she miserable and misery loves company? Is that what the mama's vibe is? Y'all are supposed to be seeing each other on your wedding day. Me and Blake did it, so. Your mother boycotted your wedding. Oh my God! It's um in the credits, Jeff Daniels, but I always get him confused for Uncle Joey from Full House, and he also also kind of looks like Bill Pullman. Pick up a book. <laughs> Did he just hang up on them? I hope I get pregnant tonight. Oh God, damn. <laughs> You got allergies, girlfriend? I love the way you look. <laughs> With the snot. You are, you're, you're so nice. And? You're my sweet ass gal. Ah, sweet ass gal. Get into it. <laughs> Here comes the frog. <laughs> Strangest music to make love to. I would agree with that. Why don't we answer the phone? Because somebody was calling 27 times. Happy. We want to talk to you. No. Oh, it's her mama. Got it. Well, I think you owe my husband an apology. Good for you telling your mama that. Do it. Start your marriage out on the right foot. For you to understand and appreciate my position, to respect our marriage. Yep, yep. And to maybe uh, wait another 15 minutes for you call in the morning. <laughs> He's so great, I told you. I'll talk to you later, all right? Mama's not doing great. Mama's not doing awesome. You better not call them back. No, I got something I want to show you. <laughs> no, really. What y'all doing over there having a party? I relate to the mother. I relate heavily to this part looking through the windows. Oh, missed! Missed them all! A scarf! A tie? I can't see it that well. Buying this tie made you happy? Yes. Yes. Yeah, because she bought something for her husband. You still have the tag on your shirt, girlfriend. It certainly does. I mean, it was fun. He's such a baby in this movie. I'm being terrible. It's, it's going to your mother's. It makes me a little irrational. It do be like that sometimes. It looks great. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's the worst thing you could have done, Flip. That's the worst thing you could have done. Not that it's any of your business, but uh, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> that's not an answer. 
I'm Edward Johnson, Roar's friend. Friend. I met her two weeks ago at church. Mm. Guess you might say she's God's gift to Vernon Dollard. I love that for you, Vernon. That's precious. <laughs> oh my God, he's so tiny. I forget how short Danny DeVito is. I feel like I haven't stopped talking since I came in. I guess because I've been thinking about you so much. Wow, she just has been fawning over her. I appreciate any advice you can give me. Don't talk with your mouth full, Vernon. I got some good news. What's the good news? Well, I'm officially pregnant. Oh, man, that's big news. Now I don't have to understand. So when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much. <laughs> if you're not happy for me, I'm gonna get so mad if you're not happy. <laughs> good for you for being honest, girl. Does this mean you won't be knitting the baby any booties? <laughs> <laughs> oh, flip. Now is not the time. Every time you get more than two drinks in you, you confront me. I think he was just being funny. Where are you going? You left your own house. Where are you going? Kick everybody else out. Do you need some help? <gasps> hey, Jack Nicholson. As I stretch my legs. Mm, okay, once, uh, can you stretch your legs? Oh, no, honey, your head. Why not come on in, then? Because you're much older than the boys I date. Uh, because you're very drunk, whiskey dick. When I went there tonight to see a United States astronaut give a lecture... Oh, he's an astronaut? A lot of space movies on the channel this month. I expected a hero. That's why you don't meet your heroes. Leanne, would you like to come in? <laughs> you can't hit on the driver. You gonna fall over, Mr. Drunk Man. Girl, you cannot be falling in love with the man next door. He clearly has some issues. No, tell him I'm resting. Resting? And can't take a phone call? Oh, Flappy did not expect I'd be happy. Let's be honest with each other before we start pretending. Oh, 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 tell me. Spill the tea, sis. Look, Mom's staring at me right now, so... Uh... Yeah, maybe you should have taken the call in another room. The only school that would accept Flap for his associate professorship is in Des Moines. Oh, so we're moving. He can't even do the simple things like fail locally. <laughs> what a sick burn! Shit, what a sick burn. Okay, so how's your mom gonna move to Des Moines? Rosie. Aww. This is precious. That's you be good to her, or else we're gonna get you. Hmm? Where's your toddler? Does somebody have the toddler? God, that woman has resting bitch face worse than anybody I know. Okay, fingers and toes in. Take mama's purse. Oh, there's the kid. <laughs> That's what mom did whenever I moved to Knoxville. Bye, Mrs. Greenway. What? Your grandkid couldn't even call you grandma or nana? I have never kissed my mother on the lips. I have never kissed my mother on the lips. I'll miss you, Mom. You're not gonna say it back! Pull away slow. <laughs> Pull away slow, guns it! Man, I talked about me being emotionally constipated in the intro. I didn't know the mother in this movie was going to be emotionally constipated. I mean, everybody wants to go to Des Moines. That little kid looks like Danny from The Shining. Well, just to get one look at Des Moines before they die. <laughs> That's a lie. Wow, she has a beautiful garden. You're drunk of a neighbor following his pool? Hey, you in the bush, I can't hear you. <laughs> you in the bush. <laughs> took a son, and it's real hard not to yell when you hit that cold water. I bet. I bet. I bet. Okay, it's kind of hard not to yell when you hit that cold water. Hey, yeah. Uh... She's not good at conversation, huh? What is your name? Aurora? Yes. It's 
such a pretty name. Dinner at uh, NASA dinner at the White House and uh, what? Bitch bites all up and down my back if I showed up with one of my regular girls. <laughs> one of your regular girls. Stop it. Her belt buckle is atrocious. I was really thinking about asking you out seriously. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay. Imagine you having a date with someone where it wasn't necessarily a felony. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said I'd like to see the White House. Good answer. Okay. You want to have dinner out sometime? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she is something else. It's like you, you, you're trying to toy with me. No, he's simply not phased by your bullshit. You want to go to lunch? Have lunch? I would have lunch with you. Come here. We're too far apart to talk. Oh, shit. Look at Jack Nicholson in his show shouts. And you're in the hands of something bigger and more powerful. God bless America, Jack Nicholson. Tell me them lines. Why not just lay back and... Strap into this! I'm not going. There is something wrong with you. <laughs> oh, God, I'm such a shit thing. I'm gonna... You're not a shit. You just pushed her too far. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That must be it. Right over there. God, that windshield looks like mine. Should we go see the house? You stay here. I'll come around and get you. Stay right there. Wow, car seats. What What were they back then? A suggestion? It was just a thought. That's not a real car seat. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Did you hurt yourself? No, not yet. <laughs> no, not yet. Oh, it's great. Clap. Great. What's the catch? This is a beautiful house, but what is the catch here? <clears throat> oh, okay. I guess I didn't realize that she was pregnant again. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, her whole belly thing. Y'all gotta watch out for that. You ever made love in Iowa? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's room is clear on the other side of the hall, so we can get as noisy as we want. Oh, Lord, she's thinking about it too, just in a different way than he is. Oh, 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 oh. What about you? What about you? What's his sound? Yes. Yes. Oh, she into it. She big into it right now. Just made me wet. Oh, gracious! Oh God, if Tommy can't hear us, we can't hear Tommy. Oh, that's a good point. What? He's watching TV. Is that bad? Get into it. Get into her. You know what I mean? Sure, we've gone a week. No, only in the real pregnant months. And you're always getting Oh, without having sex, is that what they're talking about? Don't make me feel silly, I won't make you feel guilty, alright? Oh. Oh. That's a lot of snow. We're in Iowa. Mommy, breakfast will be ready for in a minute. You just wait, right? Let's hurry. I I got a great oh, paper. Aw. Oh, hell yeah, they getting it in right now. Tommy, where are you going? Tommy? Now, the last time I saw a little kid take off by himself turned out to be a clown in the sewer system. So I don't like where this is going. Oh, he's just sitting on outside. Okay, good. Okay, good. I thought he was going to take off. Oh, why, sh why are you upset? Nobody should be upset when you make a bologna sandwich. Don't be so inconsiderate. I'm all set to have a nice good talk with you. You're being inconsiderate, lady. I need some money. I need you to loan me some money. I really and truly need it, so will you? What happened? Why do you need money? Thinking what? How much I hate to part with money. <laughs> Same. But I really think that uh, I may be pregnant again. Oh! No! Oh, no, girl. You think? Or are you for sure? I don't know why I tell you anything. I mean, I seem to like you less and less, Mom. <laughs> Damn. It is because I am the only person who tells you the truth. Oh, I mean, good for her mama to say that. How is your life going to get better if you keep having children with that man? Also, use condoms. Get on birth control. I don't know what to tell you. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. Yeah, you're not supposed to cause unnecessary stress to pregnant women. Daddy just got home. 
Hey, no kidding. Is it tough being a genius? Don't be mean. He's all smiley and she is not. Oh, I'm sorry, Ems. I, I fell asleep on that big facade. Oh, he didn't come home. I don't know what's wrong with me. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. Every time. No, no, don't change the subject. What's the subject? Where were you last night? You're going to have to, to take my word for it. You, you have no other choice. Well, that's not reassuring, you douchebag. And you're trying to make me feel crazy because I'm bearing our child? Then you may have just sunk to a point so low. I mean, she has a good point if he's lying. And be the man that God intended you to be is to admit to me anything that you might have been doing last night. But he won't do it! Come on. You better unhook that phone and leave it off. Great day when you get tenured. Oh, he got tenured, but they're fighting. Mommy said to wait right here. Stay if you want. Now, kiddos, don't be making more trouble for your parents because it looks like they got enough as is. Said I didn't want people to think we live there. Oh, that hurts. Okay, you're allowed to say one mean thing to me a year. <laughs> and that was it, you punk ass bitch! You're draining daddy away! Oh! Stand up and follow me, and don't make me hit you on the street. And don't make me hit you on the street. Good lord. See, that's 38.40. Oh, she doesn't have the money for groceries. Can I have the register key? She doesn't have enough money. You gotta holler that? You gotta yell that? Mom, you promised I could have something. I'm not gonna give her real food, all right? Yeah, well, not my doll, but listen here, little punk ass kid, hollering about me not having money. Now you don't get your candy bar. 4075. Hey, we're going in the wrong direction. Good point. 4075. I don't need it. Stop, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry about that little kid, stop it. I I'm Sam Burns from the bank. I turned you down on the second on your house. John, let's go. You're a very rude young woman. Yes, she is. I don't think I was treating her badly. Then you must be from New York. <laughs> be careful! She literally said be careful! Wait over by the car a second, honey. Come on. Wait over by the car, honey. No, come on. Wait. Oh, her kids are rude and nasty. Over by the car. Now. Now. Oh, talking back to your mama like that. That's embarrassing in front of that person. You're great with them, too. <laughs> or uh, you could come in, whichever. Are we going to have a love story with John Lithgow? I love him. Oh, hey, can I help you with that? No, thanks. I'm used to this. <laughs> she should get her punk-ass little kids to help. Mere mortals just gaze as she lights up their sky. Wow. A siren's cry. <laughs> You're the best. That's beautiful. Good job. <laughs> Did you like a kiss? What? How does she... What in the world? It seems to me she said her age. Oh, oh. Oh, Dr. Ratcher. Damn it, I'm trying to do some good here. By calling out her age? I think you're a mite confused because of being recently witted and all. Boom, roasted. I can't tell if I love that dress or if I hate it. You okay? She just left y'all, don't bother her. Why is his door just open? Door's open. Yeah, and why? Anybody could just walk in. That's crazy. Oh my heavens! Well, hello. Hi. <laughs> well, I don't know what to. No, a few uh... years back, you invited me to lunch. <laughs> yeah, a few years ago. This is how she works. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I mean, if you're the one asking him out, shouldn't you be the one to make the plan as to what time? 12.30. 12. His robe is so short. Well, look at you! That's a cute little dress on you. Yeah, you did great. It's okay. I'm sure there weren't seatbelt laws back then anyways. It's fine. Oh, no. No, don't worry. Grown women are prepared for life's little emergencies. 
So you have hairspray with you? Is that what you said? Ah, yes. She is very prepared for life's little emergencies. We put the top up. Top's at home in the garage. Yeah, girl, it's not a convertible. It's literally the, the T things. How are you, Ali? Hello, how are you? Your hair looks great. You look great. You don't need a powder room at all. Red that we made at that bar. Uh -huh. yeah. You look great, girl. Just put some bobby pins in it. You'll be fine. Are those chocolate bars in that basket? <gasps> oh, it was a hairpiece. Yes, queen. Yes, be exactly who you are as you are. I love it. No hidden meaning in that remark. <laughs> No. <laughs> you better stop. You were on a date right now, you asshat. You need a lot of drinks. To break the ice. To be tolerable. To kill the bug that you have up your ass. <laughs> yes, I shot, think I will have shot. some bourbon. Uh, preferably bourbon. Wild turkey. Bourbon. Wow, I'm very surprised by that choice. You're not fun by any chance. Are I don't you? really think we should think about that right now. Oh, man. This started out so well. Impatient boys sometimes miss dessert. Impatient boys sometimes miss dessert. It's always so nice to see you. I, I can hardly believe it. Ah, I need an update on her husband. Has he been cheating? Is that confirmed? On all these lunches? All this hand holding. Emily. Oh, oh, they're getting serious. It's pretty far out and, well, it's empty. He wants you to go with him. I haven't made love to a woman. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go ahead. In almost three years. Okay. My wife has a disc problem. A disco problem? A disc problem. I hope you don't mind me asking you this, but have you ever thought of Doggy style? Your wife getting on, on top? Or your wife on top or doggy. Did you ask? About 600 times. <laughs> what are you thinking? Did she go with him? Because the farmer aspect of things is don't let anybody know you have anything. Yeah, and that thing still stands. Well, I guess we shouldn't talk about Donnie. I don't blame you. Oh, dear, sweet baby Jesus. What a bad idea. What the hell? Look at her letting her hair down. I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> you are. Deep down, you are. Baby to the moon. <gasps> well, that's kind of funny. At least he's safe. Just, you know, her being such a serious person, it's very funny. To get me on my back, he just had to ask me. Oh. She's in it! Oh, heavens. You know what? That that little Gulf of Mexico is the only thing that's wet. Am I right? He's going for titties straight to the tit. Oh. oh my God. Get it! Get it out of there! I can't. Get it out! You can't rush Aurora! Why did you have to get drunk? I cannot drunk anymore. Okay, clearly a sore topic. No. Well, that was almost cute till he went for a tit. Emma. Oh, they're so awkward grabbing for each other's hands. Your husband at all? Oh, I was a little. Look, we can go back right now. No. <laughs> I'd hate to think that uh, I was doing this just to get even. Oh, weird, weird. I follow the train of thought, but it's weird. Oh, just look great. Fine. Good parking. You did great. Thank you. So, um, how was lunch? I'd rather stick needles in my eyes. Oh, okay. Not much danger in that unless you curtsy on my face real soon. 
do bring out the devil in me. I think that's the only way people will listen, that you will listen to other people, is if they're a dick to you, because you're a bitch to everybody. Yes, but Sam, I can't hear you either. Oh, so just... So literally, her and her husband are both having affairs? On each other? No matter what happens, I'm just so grateful to God or the devil for... <laughs> to God or the devil for that pussy. Letting me feel this way again. Aw, that's sweet. I gotta stop being funny. That's sweet. I have an emergency phone call from Mrs. Aurora Greenway in Houston, Texas. Emergency phone call. Will you release? Oh, of course, operator. Uh, sorry, we were just talking. <laughs> Operators would bust through your current phone call and be like, you have another one? Who has realized his ambition and is at last <laughs> and forever a spoiled child. So she had a great time at lunch is what I'm hearing. Is it because you wouldn't go to bed with him? On a first date, Emma. She was thinking about it, Emma. Because it's been about that long since you've done it. Oh, boom, roasted. No, 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 I'm hanging up. No, no, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry I'm hanging up. Call him now. Wow. My people-pleasing tendencies would never allow me to hang up on someone like that. She gonna go swimming. Is she gonna go skinny dipping? Oh, she got some lingerie. She getting to the end. That's what she about to do. You're going to call him when he's literally right outside in his pool. I know you heard him jump in there. Realizing that I had never shown you my Renoir. What is a Renoir? To come over and look at my Renoir. You're inviting me to bed. No, to look. Oh. Do you want to see it? She's so, like, old-school dramatic. Yeah, okay, uh, I guess so, sure, why? Yeah, you were never gonna say no, you're just playing hard to get. I don't answer the bell, that means that the back door is open. The back door is open. Oh, back door is open! She ain't gonna answer the door so he can find her a little scantily clad lady in the house. That's a blue-ass sink! Look at that sink! Let me see it, queen. Let me see it, queen! Why did you have your hair in a towel if it was dry? It doesn't matter. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Girl, you look so good! Stop! Stop, stop, stop! And just like a typical man, he's gonna show up wearing whatever he had on. He ain't worried about what he looks like. I uh, was doing laps when you called. See, he didn't even shower or nothing, girl. This is it. This is the Renoir. He said, oh yeah, that's a real thing that we were gonna do. Oh, okay. I like everything in here. Oh, Lord, don't go too fast. You know she's finicky. Don't you realize I'm a grandmother? Oh my God! I tell you what, Aurora just got a lot of feelings. A lot of feelings. That was a lot. Just be a minute. Hump the bed like you did in Witches of Eastwick. I like the lights on. Then go oh. home and turn them on. <laughs> She's such a bitch and I love it. You know, I've I've never had a one night stand. I've never had a hookup. So like is this is this how it happens? You just awkwardly like you know you fucking, but you don't know how to start the fucking, so you do this, awkwardly undress. Why am I embarrassed? <laughs> oh, Lord! He knocking out them cobwebs. What? 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 Melanie's sick. Who? I'm dead. Oh, even the kids are starting to get pissy towards him. I like to look at Jeff Daniels. <laughs> God, that's the worst sound in the world. <laughs> Should we take the baby to a doctor? Like, what are we doing? I've been offered a job. Where? Congratulations. Head of the English department at Carney State College. It's for about the same money. That's awesome, right? Where is that college, though? Nebraska. 
Oh, we're moving again. That big sucks. Goodbye, Mom. Bye. Glad to see that kid has gotten a little nicer. But of course it happened at 3 a.m., so I don't think I've even gotten any sleep yet. I don't think your mom has gotten any sleep either. I'm lying here next to the astronaut. Good for you, Mama! You call me as soon as you can, okay, okay? Bye. Bye. I want to know how it went. I want to know how it went. I didn't exactly think we were engaged. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, good. So we're just enjoying each other's company, having a good time. Nothing serious. See my house. My best instincts had me avoiding it. I don't know. If my neighbor was an astronaut, I want to see his house. What are you thinking? Oh. Wow. That's a lot happening. I love that dress on her! But the one she had on in the park, hideous. I earned it. It's 106 astronauts in the whole fucking world, and I'm one of them. Exactly, exactly. I didn't mean to trip on such a deeply felt principle. Well, lady, you're not a fucking astronaut. What have you done that's so impressive? You want to know what bothers me? Oh, so they'd be shacking up regularly. <laughs> Only noise in the entire world. Okay, now if my heartbeat was the only thing noise being made, I think I would slowly go insane. So I couldn't be an astronaut for a multitude of reasons, but that one specifically as well. This is my moment. Aw. Aw, that's really sweet that this is her moment. <laughs> Get nervous, kid. <laughs> but I was going to say, it might be a little too heavy for him to handle. He doesn't want to make feelings. Laugh. Yeah, whatever happened to Flap and his affair? Because you're definitely still seeing Sam. What are you doing? Oh, shit. She's going to catch him. She's going to catch him. Please, stop telling me that this is just a crush. Janice, the whole fun with getting... Oh, no. ...available and a little bit older is that sometimes you get to hear what's really going on. It's because you have daddy problems. Fred of Lazo! <gasps> with the baby. You were using the baby as a ploy to get women? God damn it, Emma, you're gonna ruin us. She's gonna ruin y'all. You, you caught us before we did anything. <sighs> I don't know about that. You don't know what I did. You just, you don't know. What do you mean? What is that about? If I stayed here, I'd make life hell for you. Don't follow me. Girl, you are also having an affair on your husband. You don't get to be the bigger person just because you caught him and he didn't catch you. <laughs> but it makes me happy to see her mama happy to see her daughter. You know, she was never just nice to her daughter. Your mother's really been looking forward to this, too. <laughs> Look at how smiley she is! What's Garrett going through? They're probably tired anyway and will get to sleep early and uh, I'd like to get to bed early. <laughs> You little whore. Not really a whore. I just meant like, like very sexually active with her boyfriend. Sorry. Whore wasn't the right word. Please don't cancel me. She went from being a prude to like getting it in. Good for her. It's power of a good dick. It's like looking in the mirror. You might need to get your mirrors checked. Brother, you look great. Whoa. You look terrible. Rude. Besides all the men love me the way I am, mother. True. True. Married, unavailable, older Iowa. Hmm? Girl, look at the mirror. Look at the mirror. He may not be married, but he unavailable. How's the astronaut for <laughs> She said the sex is out of this world. But Okay. He has a name, though. <laughs> She's so giddy. I found hmm. that sex is so... Fun? So... <laughs> so... Come on, girl! Fan fucking tastic! <laughs> <laughs> it is sad you find that out later in life. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like me and my mom laughing so hard together. A moth to flame. Oh, good for you, girl. I never thought I'd start to need him. Aww. It's called being in love. 
Lord, girl, your ass hungry because it's eating them shorts. It was so interesting dating Jews after the divorce. What? What a weird thing to say. I need a telephone call for you. That lady had one line and she took it very seriously. Flap, you sound the same and I'm not sure that's such a good thing. <laughs> no, we have not. We have other things to talk about besides you. She's a good best friend. She's a good best friend. Okay, that's a cute ass baby. You know, Flap, I can't believe you're doing this to us. Is he asking for a divorce? Flap accepted the job at Cardi Nebraska. I go back, we're gonna move in a week. <gasps> you're gonna go back to him? Not only go back to him, but you're moving to Nebraska? I've been packing for us all week. About time you did something around the house. I think being uprooted with my kids without my consent is at least worth a pout, don't you? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Good for her. Being honest. Why are we focusing so much on this older kid all of a sudden? Well, hello, stranger. What's it been, about two days? Oh, seeing your family make him nervous? Probably not what I want to say. No. Well. He's breaking up with her. The right kind is as good as I was hoping for. Don't even know how much you're going to miss me. What a power move. Starting to feel an obligation here, and it makes it rough. It's called settling down, old man. Ah, and just like that, we see her guard go right back up. We spent this whole movie breaking it down. I feel humiliated. Big sad for her. Burger King. I never seen him have that kind of logo before. I don't mind. <laughs> See, like you're still going out with dinner with him and stuff. Like, why? Aren't, I don't understand. Like, what a double standard for her. That's real shitty on her end. You'll be here in a minute. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Is that her? Is that the same girl? Miss? Is that the same student from previous? Don't make me run after you. I have a toddler here. Yeah, she'll run after you. Are you the reason that we came to Nebraska? I think that Flap should talk to you. <gasps> what? His wife and his baby went to the doctors to get their flu shots, all right? Why don't you do that? What does that mean? What does that mean? That's a good oh. That's a good girl. Okay. <laughs> Y'all finished, all right? Oh, it was for real about flu, flu shots. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. You have a lump in your armpit. How long has it been there? Stop it. Stop it. What? Mom should get a pop too for her shot. <laughs> right. Okay, that's cute. You don't know how to keep yourself up, so your sweat glands have clogged up. It's a cyst. Ah, that seems reasonable. Zara, and they clogged up. You never did know how to eat right, and you've never learned how to wash. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Whose fault is that, mother? <laughs> Bye. Oh, yeah, okay. Say, say, good, say goodbye to your mother. Huh? well, that's sad. I c can't say anything until he does. We've discussed it. Oh, uh, good for you, asking him that night. Turns no, out no, no, nothing, forget but... about it. I'm not going to make you feel better. I'm too mad. Yeah. Yeah, it is not your job to console him about this. Oh, well, this is a good. She had a cyst, a kind of a cyst, and it turned out to be malignant, and they're going to take her to a hospital. And yeah, it's not just a cyst, it's cancer. Yeah. So we got to load up and go. We got to load up and go. I always tell people to hope for the best and prepare for the worst. That doesn't make us feel better. And they let you get away with that. <laughs> What's wrong now? Yeah, if you come in smiling like that girl, we know it ain't real. I want you to come to New York for a visit. My treat. Ooh, fun. Look, Teddy says that he couldn't sleep at all, but Melanie slept fine. Tommy says. Ah, uh, they're freaking out. They're gonna start crying. I think it's a bad idea. 
Have a vacation by yourself. Have a vacation without the kids and that bitch-ass husband. This isn't like when they take those kids to Disneyland, you know, right before the end. Oh, stop. <laughs> oh, God. Patsy, I'm kidding. Okay. Not the time to make a joke. Everything is too much right here. I'm not leaving them. I'm entrusting them to their father. Right. Right. Correct. So your mother and Rosie are in town. That, you know, they... Not them. You. Be a dad, you piece of shit. If you can't be a husband, at least be a father. Wow, New York looks very different. No, you, you said Elizabeth with an E. It's Lizbeth. Lizbeth, okay. Lizbeth. Never mind. <laughs> and this is. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's Teddy is the younger one, and oh, Tommy's the older oh, one. Is... That's cute. Look at how proud she is of her kid. Are you gonna wait till she's in school before you go back to work? Oh, I never really work. Oh. Uh huh. Oh, the women here are different. It's New York. How about a month ago? There. Oh no, they're talking about her. I think those beautiful children are lucky to have you for a mommy. Y'all being nice only because you found out she's sick. Emma, come on, they're jerks, they don't know anything. <sighs> Why are you friends with jerks? Two of them told me that they had had abortions. Oh, yeah. One of them told me they were divorced. All three of them? The one with the yeast disease that thought she had vaginal herpes. And... You found all that out at lunch today? Tell them it's okay to talk about the cancer. Yeah, yeah. Patsy tells us you have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you tone deaf fool. I'm a nutritionist and my husband's with Ticketron. <laughs> What's the second thing she said? Her husband's with what? Oh, I wish I were so carefree. Yes, well, they don't have anything to feel ashamed about. <laughs> Damn. And if you talk to Emma, don't sound as frightened as you do to I me. I don't sound frightened. You, a little bit, a little bit. I think I'm coming home a few days early. Good. It doesn't feel good to be the one person out, you know? Careful there. These are worth more than you'll ever make in your lifetime. Jesus Christ, lady. <laughs> what in the pantaloons is that nurse wearing? The response to the drugs we tried isn't what we hoped. Well, that's not good. It might be wise to make some decisions now. He could have at least shut the door for her to have some privacy. Give my daughter the shot! What thing about Aurora? She's gonna get shit done. Let's get her. Push her grandma in. This isn't a half bad idea. Don't you dare. Yeah, push her in. Push her in. I mean, y'all should noon. Should noon? Should have known your grandma wasn't just gonna be fun. <laughs> Hey, Garrett, what are you doing here? Are you gonna go back to him while your other boo, Vern, is there watching? Who would have expected you to be a nice guy? That's what I was thinking. It's good to see you. Wow. <laughs> oh, let it out, baby girl, let it out. Your coming meant a lot to him. Meant a lot to me, Garrett. It did. You did great. Here, I'm glad you came. I love you. Aw, that's nice of her. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that's how I'm gonna start hugging hubbin. Just a full ass grab every time. Do you have any reaction at all to my telling you I love you? I was just inches from a clean getaway. <laughs> I love you too, kid. That's not a good answer. That's not very romantic. Girl, if you can live with it, then good for you. If he makes you happy and you can live with that, good for you. You know what his reaction was? I don't give a shit, Mom. I'm sick. That's okay. It's valid. That's an okay response. It's understandable. This loser could never come to the hospital and it would be okay with me. And look, he's wearing the tie that she bought him years ago. Please. 
He's gonna do it. I've been with her most of last night and today, as usual. Something you wouldn't know anything about. Working full time and chasing women requires a lot more energy than you have. Ooh, ooh. It's been that you recognized your weaknesses. Don't lose that quality now when you need it the most. <laughs> Man. Eat his food, he left it. Like, look at that apple pie. It's delicious looking. Do you know how much I hate the idea of losing you? Not enough to stay faithful to your marriage. Boom, roasted. Who am I if I'm not the man who's failing Emma? You didn't. <laughs> Damn, suck it. You were no more terrible than I was. Except for the cheating. Mm. You're right. Mm. Let's not do this. She ain't gonna tell him. And when it was in the last box I looked in. It always is, isn't it? Just tell me, hon, you really want to raise him? If he says no, I'm gonna flip a fucking table. I never thought I was the sort of man who'd give up his kids. <gasps> wow. Where do you want him? I don't want him to end up with Janice. Good for you. Good. For That's hard. This is a big decision. That's really hard. Good for her. How do you break this news to children? I just love to raise that little girl. You shouldn't just take one. You can't break up siblings like that. Well, do I get to say something ever? No. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Both of you have beautiful eyes and your hair is too long. Just like a mama. To be on her deathbed but scolding her kids. Why don't you shut up? Shut up! You shut up. Hey, not in front of your mama! I love you very much. I love you as much as I love anybody. Aw, he's just going through a phase, you know? You remember that time that I bought you the baseball glove when you thought we were too broke? Okay. She's okay. comforting him years in the future, you know? He don't get it right now. But I think it went really well, don't you? Yeah, it did, buddy. Tommy. Oh my god. If you need to talk. And then how do you tell them that their dad doesn't want them? <laughs> so our mother's too lazy to check it out. Be your fucking ass. <laughs> the one who's always been there for her, Papa. <laughs> oh, she's not no great, huh? She's gone. She died? She died dead? We were just looking at her. <laughs> she died? <laughs> What do you mean? <sighs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why are you standing over here? People grieve in their own ways. <laughs> Everything's gonna be alright, Tommy. Literally his entire life is getting absolutely turned upside down. His mom died, his dad doesn't want him, he's getting living with fucking Janice, and now he's gotta live with his grandma who just smacked the shit out of him outside of the hospital. Uh -huh. <coughs> God, I'm gonna throw up. You know what, Danny DeVito, not cute younger. I like him old. Wow, Patsy's being nice than I could be. But you're an astronaut. Astronauts can be swimmers. Aww. That's so sweet. She loves him, ma! And he loves her too in his own little weird way. That is how that ends? That is how that ends? Really? Okay. Well, then I guess we need to talk about it. You know, um, 
up until like the last, what, 15, 20 minutes, I've been just laughing. When the movie started, I was like, man, her mom's a bitch. And then like, I finally understood her character and she just has a really tough exterior, right? And then I was like, oh, she's actually really funny. You know, and I'm sure that y'all picked up on this throughout. I think it's really, <laughs> I think it's really backhanded and just like, I think it's just really double standardy for for the wife to be mad. He was like, yeah, I should have treated you better. I shouldn't have cheated. And then she was like, let's not talk about that. Girl, I mean, I, okay, fine. You don't have to talk about cheating while you're actively dying. Sure. But then, like, for you to confirm... Anyways, that was just a big double standard there on her end. That was a huge double standard. That was really unfair. Woo-wee. I was just big laughing the whole time. Up until the last 15 minutes, and she di She just dies. She just dies dead. Just right then and there. Just not ready. Man, this almost felt like the mother and daughter version of fried green tomatoes. Does that make sense? Those two women, Iggy and the other lady, they were definitely lesbians. They were definitely they were definitely in love with each other. All right. So that's why I'm saying this is like the mother daughter version of fried green tomatoes. I should call my mom more. I just feel like I never have anything to talk about, you know? Like I watch a lot of movies. And other than that, I hang out with my cats. I should call my mom more. Oh god, I'm going to cry again. Anyways, I don't know why there's not more reactions to this movie on YouTube. Um, It's a big crier. It'll get you. I could also see how this movie wouldn't be for everybody. Because it does a lot of time hopping. And I could also see how some of the characters would get on your nerves. It's very real. It's very real life. And that it just ends. Would I watch it again? Not tomorrow. Because it makes me sad. But would I watch it again? Yeah. So I'm going to give it 5 out of 5 stars. I hope you like, subscribe, stick around. I'm not really sure what's coming up. I think Flash Gordon narrowly, and when I tell you narrowly, I mean by seven, seven votes. Of course, Wednesdays, we're watching The Boys. As far as Fridays go, I'm not really sure right now. So I hope you like and subscribe and stick around. Links to social media, including my Patreon, where you can vote on movies. All those links are down below in the description box if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeiverse. And I'll see you right back here on Monday for Flash Gordon. Bye.